Now we learn how to check content of a variable, internal table or work area. And we also see how to check the system variable values like size of RC, date, username, program name, etc. So let's execute the program with this default value of the selection screen. So by default, when I am executing this program, I have set here the default range of one year. So system will execute with select the POS of all the purchases that are created in this date range and with the logic written based on this radio button. Okay, so now let's first enter into a debugging mode and execute. Go to desktop 3. F5 and go inside the perform routine get data. Now here all the selection criteria value we can see here in this in operator. Okay, so here as I enter the date, so we can double click on on any variable select options or internal tables. Okay, for which we have to check the values. So here in the select query, here we have the select options. And if you want to check the values of this S underscore A date, just double click here. So here we can see two records. The first is header and this is the body icon. Okay. If we have multiple values, so we can see the multiple values in this selection table. Now to check the content, double click here. So we can see the value of the select option. That is sign I BT because we have given date range one year. That's why here it is BT. For single value, this will be EQ. Okay, and here we can see the date range. Go back to desktop three. And now let's see. I want to check the value of internal table. Now currently this select query is not executed yet. Okay, so if I double click on this internal table gt underscore list okay we can see here there are no record zero record because system cannot fetch the values based on the selection criteria that's why here the values are zero and here in s underscore a date we can see one record because this value is coming from the selection screen okay now along with this variable or internal table content also keep an eye on this value that is psi sub rc the psi is stand for system okay the actual structure in sc11 for that is syst okay let me also check with psi whether sy is there or not no so we have to enter syst this is called as the above system fields so in all the program, we can see by default this structure and in program we can use SY only. So those are called the system fields, which is defined by the system. Make We can make use of that at runtime. Okay. Now here, currently it is zero. Now if I execute this block, if I press F5, see, now we can see in GT underscore list, 97 records are there. Okay, and size of RC equal to zero because system has executed and the result is success. That's why size of RC equal to zero. Otherwise, other values most commonly four we can see here. Okay, now to check the content of this GT underscore list, double click here. So we can see all the columns and the content of that internal table. Okay. Like this here, we can see all the table columns. And in case, if you have more columns and all are not like visible on this screen, okay, so we'll get an arrow icon here. We can click on that. Now, in this each row, here I have one more internal table. Okay, so let me check if any, okay, as of now, no uh, data will be there because this block is not yet executed. Now to view this in a different way, in an ALV format, okay, tabular format, what we can do, 
click here display table data in alb if you click here we can see in a alb format okay and if you want to download any internal table data just right click and click on a spreadsheet you can download all in a excel and in case if you want to set any filter at a runtime to check the values you can set a filter this we can perform all the operations of a alb report on this internal table values okay in real time this is very uh, very helpful how to check the values okay but and one more option here take example now we have net wr column okay which is not visible on the default initial screen and if you want that column to be present here so what we can do here enter net wr enter column name press enter c now you can see the column at the first position so like this we can rearrange the column position okay we can also do a drag and drop this is also possible we can make use of drag and drop or directly type here so like this we can check the content of the internal table set variables okay now let's do some more activity here so i want to again go back here on this statement so what i will do i will right click here and go to statement okay i want system again to execute this select query with some different value so here what i will do i will change the date here currently it is the last one year so what i will do i want to change the value so how to do that double click here close this double click on this low okay click on this change icon if i click on this change icon we can edit the values now here i want to make it 2023 and let's say 29 okay after entering value press enter go to desktop 3 now this time in last two days i don't have any purchase order created so initially the size of rc was zero because some records were formed now based on the selection criteria i don't think any values will be there so now if i press f5 here see here size of rc equal to 4 and internal table is blank this means that system has not found any record okay now if i press f8 we cannot see any data in the output because I change that value at a runtime. Okay, like this we can change the value at runtime and we can reperform some testing based on different selection criteria. Let's see some more details on this, like checking contents of a variable in internal table. So again. I am going into debugging mode. Okay, and this time I want to directly come at a loop. Okay, now I set one breakpoint here at row number 206. I'm pressing F8 here. So now we can see the cursor position here. So in the GT underscore list, we have total 97 records. Okay, this is internal table and this GS underscore list is work area. A work area, in a work area, we can see only single record at a time. Okay, whereas in an internal table, we can see multiple record. Okay, so now in a loop, whenever if you press F5, so current group, current group record we can see into its work area. Now, if I double click here, so we can see the current record of the group. Okay, A date, ER num, all this detail we can see here. So now we are inside the group, and in this table we have 97 record. So here we can see side tabix that is one. My system is executing the first record now. Now in this internal table, we have 30 records. 
that is the LFA1 vendor name. Even we have 97 record in the internal table, but only 30 unique vendors are there. If you double click here, we can see all 30 records here. Okay. Now, if I press F5 here, okay, now system will read this internal table into this work area. This second internal table. Okay, if I press F5, again here size of R is equal to 0. This means that record is found and site ID is 19. So let's cross check. Here we have the vendor ID 201. And here we can see the site ID is 19. Just go to this GT underscore LFA1 table. See here, the row number 19. You can see the vendor ID 201. Okay, so here with this system variable site appix, we can see the row number of the internal table. Still, for this loop, the row number is 1. But now, as system has read this internal table, and system has found the record at row number 19, index 19. Okay. Now F5, this will go to the next statement. Now this modify statement, see the impact. Now currently in GT underscore list, see the name field is blank. Okay, now as soon as this statement is executed, we can see the record there, name 1. Now if I press F5, again check the content, see here. Because the modify statement is there, the system has added the name here at the first record. Okay, those are the effects statement as a adapt consulting you already know this. But functional consultant first you have to learn the basic that syntax what is if and else statement. Now again if I press F5. Okay, let me set directly breakpoint here. F8. Okay, now again we can see site of this one. Now if I press F5, see here, now the index is 2. System is executing the second row of this loop, of this internal table. Okay, so like this, we can see, we will learn how to check the content of select options internal table work area. Now system field here we will check only two field on the screen. But for all the details just type psi here sy press enter and double click here. At run time you can see many variables, lot of variables are there like the username, the transition code. Okay. That is that pure detail. Sometimes we have to write web programs based on the system field. Like if the code is this perform this activity. Okay, to cross check that we can make use of psi. Today's state we can see in this variable psi datum. Okay, the username, psi u name, title, report title, the program name. Based on all requirement, we can make use of different fields available in this psi structure. Okay, like this here. We can make use of like program name. I want to assign a variant of program name, system program name. So from where we'll find a program name? Just use REPID of size structure. So system will assign the program name here. Okay. So like this, we will learn how to check the values of select option internal table and system structure. So next we'll learn some other details in the debugging session.